Well, the fight in the tunnels underneath Gaza is just the beginning. Our very own Pete Hegseth got a firsthand look at these terror tunnels just a few years ago. Watch. So here we are, uh, just uh, roughly 700 meters from the Gaza border, inside a tunnel. It's not just a tunnel, it's a terror tunnel. Hamas takes a lot part of its budget to build this kind of structure and to build a military force. Money they could be using for their people, for schools and hospitals, and otherwise are going into something like this. Yes. It's the only purpose for us to do massive killing inside Israel on a surprise time. And so every day, it's part of your job to find more terror tunnels. We have a good technology, but in the end, you need to discover less from one meter. This is what you need to discover, 15 or 20 meters inside the ground. From October to January, we found, just in the last three months, three tunnels. Yeah. You're finding them right now as Hamas continues to dig uh, under the Gaza Strip into the, into the Israeli population. Yeah. I want to get a sense of what it's like to fight in a tunnel like this, because you in the infantry, you're usually outside in different conflicts. You're underground, but this is a whole nother level. It's a physical, psychological challenge to fight inside uh, tunnels like that. I'm cramping up and I'm sore already, and we've been in here for, what, two minutes? Uh, just imagine the, the, the difficulty of fighting in a tunnel like this, but also the, the ideological dedication of, a, of an, a radical Islamist enemy that's willing to spend months and months and months and months and months underground picking away at the soil, putting in steel, putting in lights, pumping in air, just so that they can kill innocent civilians. Fox and Friends weekend host and Army veteran Pete Hegseth joins me now with more. So, Pete, I don't know if you just heard Bob right there, oh. but the way he described this tunnel fighting, this makes me think this war with Hamas is going to last years. Yeah, God bless Bob and what he went through uh, reading memoirs of guys in Vietnam and what they were willing to do uh, wrecks your brain. But what's so much more complicated about Gaza, Jesse, is that you've got tunnels like that with a modern city built on top of it with a population of two million. It's not the jungle with tunnels. It's a whole two, three layers on top of it. And that video you showed of the tunnel, Jesse, is why I was so blown away like everyone else was on Saturday morning by the ability of Hamas to effectively control areas in the south of Israel and terrorize the population because the IDF knew they were building these tunnels to try to infiltrate. And it wasn't necessarily the tunnels that were used. It was paragliders. It was bulldozers. It was all the things we've been going over. So if Israel's going to respond, the first thing they need to do, and you've covered this so well tonight, they got to build a buffer, which they've done. So effectively, all those communities that have been uh, affected thus far have been cleared almost 100 percent. The military is consolidating and reorganizing. That's what we would call it in the military. Staging operations of tanks, personnel carriers, infantry, intelligence, signals, artillery, everything you would need to stage a ground attack. But that's all above ground, uh, to, to your point. So what's the next thing you do as a, in a phase of the operation, Jesse? You've got to prep the, prep the battlefield. And that's why you've seen a lot of strikes into Gaza, uh, specifically mm -hmm. into the area around Gaza City. We know where the military headquarters are. Uh, and ultimately, you've got to focus there to create the conditions for a ground assault. Real quick, and I know we've got to go. Those, that tunnel, you showed the graphic briefly. 300 miles of tunnels, Jesse, when you consider the hostages, when you consider the civilian population, what the Israeli military is going to have to do first is create uh, areas that it focuses on first, most likely up in the north. So they'll have zones where they phase that operation. There's a major freeway that goes through the middle of Gaza. You'll have to cut that off, focus on a particular area while, while pressuring the local population to leave into Egypt if they leave that area open. Jesse, it is unfathomably complex. And then you think of the Americans and the hostages, and how do you handle that, too? Yeah, it's got to be a methodical operation. Maybe we could lend them one of those bunker busters well, that we used. In you give it to the civilian population. Some of that might have to be Afghanistan. Used. Absolutely. I know. Well, you got to clear out the population. Maybe, maybe Egypt could throw us a bone and help some of these Palestinians go over there for plenty a second. Of countries with plenty of they space. take care of Hamas? Plenty of countries with plenty of space exactly. to take them. Absolutely. I agree. All right, Pete, thank you thank so much. You, hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.